Hey guys, let's talk about one of my favorite setups. This is a day two trend trade, which you will see on the dashboard is represented as a one peak formation low. Um, the It could be a zero or one previous day high or low break, uh, depending on what session you trade. Sometimes that level has been hit already. But typically when I see anything with a one peak formation high or low, that is one of probably the easiest trades that you could do and um, it should go with the trend. Now here's the thing, sometimes it does not, right? Sometimes you're gonna be stuck in um, in a range on day two trend trades. Sometimes they play out beautifully just like this one on Aussie dollar, right? So what do we see here guys? Um, one of the telltale signs here, we have a beautiful setup, um, yesterday's high and this is why um, it, it hit yesterday's high. So anytime it hits the high, it's gonna count, okay? So we hit the high, not just once, not just twice, but three times. You're gonna see the patterns where it does tap that area three times. And we know that three is a huge number when it comes to the market maker cycle. Um, so, you know, that was a tradable um, setup right there to go short. However, we're looking for the trend trade. We wanna go long. So what I'm gonna do is on that third hit, guys, I'm going to uh, mark that area with the fibs, all right? That's the high to the low. And my entry is gonna be right at 50%, okay? Which is right here. Um, and you're probably wondering, why do you already have that green um, box or little area down here? Another thing that I like to do to get the area prepared for the day two trend trade is I'll measure the previous day high and low, which was right here to here. And that gives me that 50% area. And I'm expecting this area to provide me support, okay? Now, when price does not respect this area, then this is, in, this is going to be a resistant area. Price will break through and use that level as resistance. So I keep that there. I stretch it out to the next trading day. So when Monday comes, right? Because right now, yeah. it's the weekend, it's Friday. This is uh, the Saturday. This trade was Friday. So I'm going to just stretch that on out because what happens on Monday is this is now going to be a day three trend trade and this this area is going to come into play all right but for right now for day two trend trade setups guys this was like one of the cleanest setups you could see um we've got a high higher high in the inside not just a higher high but three hits to the high then we drop and then we start to get ready to go back long all right so it's real simple keep it simple guys um, use this level. Don't be trying to jump in and get into trades, right? I mean, you just, this allows you, if you're just looking for the trend trade, this setup allows you to be patient. <laughs> okay. The yellow box represent the New York session. So this was uh, a trade that was already waiting for you for New York. All right. If you enjoyed that, hit the like button. We'll see you in the next one.